Hi, this is Chris with Stupid Raisins. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Final Cut Pro as a beginner. Student, enter the dojo. Please, remove your shoes. Oh, uh, on second thought, please put that back on. Now I'm gonna share with you how to take your first steps in Final Cut Pro. We're gonna take a look at the timeline, the browsers, inspectors, and so much more. Let's check that out. All right, so we're here in Final Cut Pro. Now before we do anything in our program, I wanna make sure that you uh, take all of your files and put them into folders, whether that be like this with audio, stills, and video, or maybe you have B-roll, A-roll, if you're filming a wedding, you have like ceremony, reception, all that. Just organize your files just a little bit to start. It's gonna save us some time later. We're gonna come over here and pull up the library. Here we are. Click on new. And right here in our folder, we're gonna type out farm video. And that is gonna create our library. We now have this library up here in the corner called farm video. There's an event under it. That's what this little star is for. So the library has a bunch of stars and the event has a single star. So that could kind of help you uh, understand the way this is organized. Four stars is the group of media, folders, events, etc. And then within that is the single star, which is one of the events, which in this case is farm video. So we're gonna go ahead and import from that folder. Click on import media. And here on the desktop, we will see we have the stills, video, and audio. We're gonna import that in. I recommend leaving files in place. Otherwise, your library file is going to grow huge. We don't want it to be huge. We want it to be slim. We don't want it to take up too much room. If we need to move it, we don't want it to take forever. Leave the files in place. Final Cut Pro will reference them in our organized folders. And since we organize folders, make sure to check this because it's gonna create some keywords from those uh, folder names. And you can dive into some of this other analyzing stuff later. Let's import selected and boom. Now within this, you'll see if you uh, expand this, we've got our keywords, have organized everything. And we can also uh, change how we view this page. So we can change the size of the thumbnails. We can change the length. I, I typically like to just go to all you can also change how everything's grouped. Uh, I typically like to leave, leave it on file type. That way, if I'm looking for music, I just look into that file type. All right, and then we can also change whether we want this to be listed out or whether we want it to be in thumbnail form. Now, this process of importing these clips, we've also covered in great detail in another video, how to import photos in Final Cut Pro. So it's specifically about photos, but it also covers this process in a few more steps. So we can actually come here and select the spot in this clip where we want the footage to start and end. So we can actually do I for in, O for out, hit the F key in order to favorite that. You can see the little green thing popped up on top, or you can just drag across and then hit the F key. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna favorite each of these shots. All right, now that we got that done, we can go to the smart collections here, click on favorites, everything is organized within the favorites. And then to bring it in, we want to click on new project. Again, farm video. Now I would recommend sticking to just 1080p, which is standard HD. Uh, you can also just choose automatic settings, which will take just the first clip's properties and set it, set the rest of the project based on that one clip. Let's stick to 1080. Now if you don't see that, click up on farm video and it'll pull in all of your clips. You can even collapse these to make it easier to track down what you're looking for. All right, and then let's click on favorites and drag and drop these uh, clips into our timeline. Now still in this browser, we can check out a couple of the other things. So we can actually find our photos can be accessed here. We can find music here as well as special effects. So we can do something like <laughs> different types of sound effects. You can even search for things. And then we've got titles and generators. Under generators, you'll see you can, you can create like a counting uh, generator. You can create like a blob effect, a beam, some curtains. Uh, like sort of a glimmer, and you can just drag and drop those right onto the timeline. You can even drop it down below, right out, right above. And then we can go up to titles, click on titles, find, uh, one of my favorites is under build in and out. 
you can go to fade. Let me drag that on top of here. Fade the title in and fade the title out. To edit that, we select it, come up here to the inspector. In fact, let's close the sidebar on the left. So up here in the inspector, now if you don't see this popping up, click on this option here, show or hide the inspector. That'll turn that off and on. There's also a way to expand that. You can double click here and it will expand all the way down. We'll click on the title inspector. And within here, we can change the build in and out, whether we want that to uh, build in or out or not. But the main thing we wanna check out is the text, which is this next spot here. This is the text inspector. And we can go ahead and change the title. And we can even come in here and just get like a quick basic style going for ourselves. And we can change the size down here and change the color. Really any element that you throw into this timeline here, you can adjust it. If it has reached the end of its clip, it will show a red a red edge to it here. But any, any time besides that, you can drag these clips out to make them as, as long or as short as you want them to be. Now our team remembers learning Final Cut Pro and the difficulties we experienced along the way. So we've created a playlist of tutorial videos to help you with your Final Cut Pro projects. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you can get notified when we release a new video. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, talk about a few ways to navigate the timeline. One of my favorite shortcuts is Shift Z. As you can see what it did there, it automatically adjusted everything. In fact, if we close the, the inspector here, minimize that a little bit, and do Shift Z, again, it will just fit all the clips, the whole entire timeline, and put it all in view. We can actually check out the appearance settings here. It's under this icon. We can change the zoom. There's also a shortcut for that, which is Command minus or Command plus. Then we can also change whether we want just waveforms to show, big waveform with a small thumbnail, or all thumbnail, or no thumbnail or waveform, just simply the clip name. If we wanna see it even taller and more of the picture, We've got that option as well. And there's a couple other things to note about Final Cut Pro's timeline. Watch what happens to this to the timeline. So we've got it at the end here, about a minute 50. If we drag this up, everything slides and moves to the left. That's because Final Cut Pro has a magnetic timeline. Now there's a few ways to get around that. Um, like here, if you go to the position tool under the cursor menu, you can actually drag this right on top of everything. There's some other things you can do. We have a, a really great video about how to split a clip in Final Cut Pro. It shows a lot of those tools. Now, if you wanna get back to the regular selector, you can press the A key or go back to the menu, hit select. Now, sometimes you'll be moving this along and you'll see these little yellow lines that appear down the whole timeline. So if this were coming along here, we want it to match up right with that, it'll kind of grab it and snap it into place. Um, it gets, it does sometimes get challenging when there's so many points that it can snap to, it, it may be time to turn that off and then you can always turn it back on. Now in the timeline, uh, you can go to press space bar to play forward. And there's a couple other, other things you can do. You can press J and then I'll actually start playing it backwards. And you can also press L, that'll play it forward again. Press L a couple times, it'll play faster. Press J a couple times, it'll play faster and faster and faster in reverse. So you notice as we've added things, something's got attached to the primary storyline. And that's what we see here. This main uh, line across here that has the dark gray section, that is our primary storyline. And all of these clips on top are connected clips. So you can actually pull clips up and above and connect them there, or you can add them to the end or the middle of the primary storyline. We're gonna look at the effects. So we can go ahead and bring in some effects here. Uh, we can look at all audio and video or just select video and we can find something like aged paper. Ooh, that makes it look very interesting. Under blurs, you can change the focus blur. There's also audio effects that can change the pitch. They can change the, uh, the echo. You can also add bass enhancer, which really enhances your voice, makes it sound a little fuller if you're doing any voiceover in your videos. Now let's say you want to get rid of an effect. Maybe you're like, ah, that I didn't really like how that looked. So up here in the inspector, you can actually select the focus and just straight up delete it. Or we can check it and take it off and on to see, you know, is it a good effect or not? All right, so right next to the effects browser is the 
transition browser. We have a whole lot of different options for transitions. We can get crazy with it, but I recommend sticking with cross dissolve. You can just click, drag that down into here. Now it might pop up with this prompt that's gonna say, hey, there's not enough media between these two clips to create a transition. So to create that transition, Final Cut Pro is just gonna ripple trim that. So watch what happens. You can see the clips from the right side moved left and it overlapped to create that transition for you. And now if we want to apply that transition to all of our clips, we can press Command A, double click on Cross Dissolve, and that transition appeared across all of our clips. Pretty cool. Now one other thing that might happen is you might double click on a transition and then suddenly <laughs> your timeline looks like this. To get it back to normal, you just double click. Now if you wanna learn more about transitions, check out this video about how to fade to black in Final Cut Pro. Now let's go ahead and drop an audio clip into here. All right. Nice, that adds a really nice effect into our timeline here. We can actually add a little bit of a fade in. Very nice, we just drag this little dropper along. And if we feel that that's too loud, we can actually adjust it here with this little control point right there. Let's highlight that clip. And it will bring up the audio inspector. We can adjust the volume, we can change the loudness, remove some noise, remove some hum, all sorts of different effects that we can control here. Now we have a video called How to Balance Audio in Final Cut Pro if you wanna take a deeper dive into how to fix your audio. But for now, we're just gonna add some nice fades to the beginning and end of that clip. Looks pretty good. Now if we play this back, very nice. Cool. All right, so we got a solid video. Let's go ahead and close down all these windows. So let's go up here to this little share icon. And that's gonna open up these options. Yours might look a little different. I've customized mine a few times. Let's go ahead and go to Apple devices, 1080p. And in here we have, this is our video. You can see the preview there. You can also uh, see all the details around the video, what it's gonna export as. And I tend to like to select better quality. And let's go ahead and click on next. And we'll save it within our farm video folder. Here it appears up here, this little icon, it's gonna start filling up. That is our sharing. It is doing working in the background. Depending on the size of your project, depending on your computer, it'll go really fast or really slow. And that is done. Let's go ahead and take a peek at that. Double click on our folder in the finder. Double click on the video. Boom. Pretty good for a first video. And with that, we've reached the end. Thanks for tagging along. For a beginner, you did pretty good. Now that you've learned how to use Final Cut Pro as a beginner, I've made another video about how to stabilize footage in Final Cut Pro. Click here to check it out.